Pendo versus Walk Me. Hi guys, Pendo and Walk Me are two of the best digital adoption and product experience tools. But which one should you be using? To help make you an informed decision, I'll explain the main differences between Walk Me and Pendo, and we'll consider four criteria to see how these two tools stack up. And thank you for using the links in the description. So let's find out which is better for you. For the features, the main features of Pendo while going through a walkthrough include paths, funnels, reports, and retention. The paths feature shows all types of sequences that are seen for the events that are before or after a specific user action. Funnels allow the users to monitor the progress through a sequence of pre-specified steps. Reports featured in Pendo is divided into page views, feature clicks, track events, and guide views. The retention feature shows the number of customers that are retained by the company. WalkMe contains many exceptional features like digital analytics experience, custom variables, adaptive element recognition, screenshot settings, etc. The digital analytics experience, when undergoing walkthrough, allows the customer to track the end user's interaction, whereas screenshot settings allow the customers to capture screenshots of the application that includes the WalkMe content. WalkMe focuses more on employee training and user onboarding, whereas Pendo puts more focus on product experience. Both the softwares have excellent different features. For the ease of use and setup, when comparing the two in terms of ease of setup, WalkMe seems to be rather harder to handle because of its local installation requirements. Unfortunately, you can't just sign up to try out WalkMe's platform. You have to request a demo from their sales team by filling out an application with your name, company, work email address, and phone number. Pendo also offers a request demo option, but unlike WalkMe, you can sign up for a free trial version. The layout of WalkMe is simple and intuitive, but robust enough to give you access to all of the important information you need. The left panel features an array of different options that allow you to quickly find what you're looking for, and there are no complex menus or confusing icons to get in your way. This makes it perfect for those who want to get right into designing and building their own UX workflows without needing to spend time learning how the product works. Like WalkMe, Pendo's interface is clean, intuitive, and easy to use. It's designed with the user in mind, and its navigation system is simple and straightforward. You can find what you're looking for without having to spend time searching through unnecessary options and menus. For example, you can easily navigate between each of the main sections of Pendo by clicking on their corresponding tabs at the left side of the screen. Dashboard, Product, People, Behavior, Guides, and NPS. Pendo also has a Getting Started guide that you can access directly from its login page. The guide walks users through all the basic functions of the platform so that they can start using it right away. And for the segmentation, though Pendo has better features when it comes to user segmentation, WalkMe also offers opportunities similar in this regard when going by a walkthrough. And for the integrations, WalkMe comes with built-in integrations for popular enterprise tools like Amazon Web Services, Salesforce, Google Analytics, Slack, Zendesk, Azure Active Directory, Okta, Webhooks. It also offers its own API so you can build custom integrations if you want more control over how your data is processed. Penda also integrates with your most used applications and it offers more options than WalkMe. You can connect Pendo to HubSpot, Jira Software, Salesforce, Zendesk, Calendly, Confluence, Figma, Drift, HelpDocs, and more. Pricing? WalkMe provides a demo version so that you can try its software out. Once you've decided that it's the right tool for you, you can choose from one of their two premium plans, WalkMe for Employee Experience and WalkMe for Customer Experience. With the first plan, you get a tailored specific solution for automating elements of your employee experience, custom report capabilities, and pre-built journeys, among other features. But if, on the other hand, you're looking for a software for digital adoption for your applications or websites aimed exclusively at your clients, the second plan offers a wider variety of features that can help you build a better experience for your customers.
Unfortunately, WalkMe's prices are not available on their official website. You will have to access their pricing page to request a quote. What we know is that WalkMe works on annual contracts that go up and beyond $10,000. Their sales team will inform you of the total cost of both subscriptions, depending on your specific needs. Unlike WalkMe, Pendo doesn't only offer a free demo. It also has a free plan for up to 500 monthly active users. It works both for computer and mobile devices, but if you need more features, you can upgrade your account by choosing between its three paid plans. The Pendo Starter Plan, which costs $7,000 a year for up to 2,000 monthly active users, limit multi-app and access to premium features like NPS, but it doesn't include advanced analytics or integrations. The Growth Plan. This subscription is designed for digital strategies that are based on single application products only. The Portfolio Plan. This option is for organizations with a wide suite of applications. And the Pendo Adopt for your employees? Employee onboarding is a separate module with custom pricing. Like WalkMe, you'll need to contact them through their pricing page if you want to get more information on each one of these packages' prices. But there have been some reports by users that have mentioned the price to be $2,000 in approximation. When a user adds up the features, prices can go as high as fifteen dollars to $20,000. So choosing between WalkMe and Pendo depends on your business and your needs. Both tools come with advantages and disadvantages. It will depend on your product and current needs. However, if you still want to investigate their platforms, make sure you check out videos about the best alternatives. Link is in the description. Other than that, it's up to you. So yeah, that's it for this video. You can check the links in the description. That helps a lot. Thank you. So hopefully this video helps you out. If it did, leave a comment and click the like button. That helps too. And goodbye for now.